Well, hey there, guys. As promised, here's a video. Before we start talking about our arthropod that we're going to dissect, the crayfish, uh, keep in mind, as with all the dissections, that the lab manual is paramount here. Oh, that one's not in there very well. Hey, look, it's the procedures for the crayfish. Make sure you're following these closely. If I ask you what step you on and you don't know, I put you back to step one, which is obtain a crayfish and put it in your dissection tray. Meaning, I throw away your partially dissected crayfish and make you start over. Fair warning. So the crayfish, uh, like all arthropods, is as much about the external anatomy as it is about the internal anatomy. So this is a general diagram. Uh, this really helps accentuate the two body regions. So arthropods, like us, have three main regions to them. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. In crayfish and most crustaceans, the head and thorax has been combined into a cephalothorax. Cephal meaning head. So that's the whole head, chest region. And then back here, starting from there and going down to there, you have the abdomen, the abdominal region, where you get the tail and the swimmerettes and the whatnot. Here's a picture of the crayfish looking uh, more like an actual crayfish. So here it is in all its crayfishy and glory. Make sure before you start, even before you dissect anything, run your hands over the exoskeleton. It's made out of this really cool material that is called chitin. Chitin, that's, that's an eye. Made out of this material called chitin, which is a, it's like a Kevlar-y, like interwoven material like I talked about in the, in the lecture. And explore its, uh, its extremities. Uh, arthropods are very much about the pods, about the appendages. So look at the chiliped, ped meaning foot, that's its modified clawing foot. Even the antennae and the antennules, those are modified appendages, those are like its arms, they have joints that work too. Their mouth parts up under in this region right here have all kinds of little legs and feeders that shove food in towards the, uh, towards the mandible, towards the actual jaw. Uh, investigate the walking legs, especially look at their uh, sweet, sweet clippies there for traction and whatnot. Make sure you look at the swimmerettes. Those are going to be on the underside of the abdomen right there, along with your uropod and your telson. But the swimmerettes, that's how you're going to sex your uh, crayfish. There will be different swimmerettes for boys and for girly crayfishes. When you're ready to make your cut, you're going to use the dissection scissors. Now, dissection scissors have two ends on the blade, one end like that, and one end that's really short and stabby. This is nice because it's not very sharp, so generally when you're dissecting, when you're cutting things open, you want to cut with that side in because what that will actually do is prevent you from like damaging anything. So make sure that side goes in. When you're ready to make your cut, you're going to put your crayfish dorsal side up, which will look like this. You're going to slip. There's a little space. The carapace is like this chest piece region right here. There's a little space in between the carapace and the uh, abdominal region. You're going to just slip the scissors inside there and make your cut right here up the middle. Make your cut right here up the middle. Go above this groove, the cervical groove, go above that to about up in this region here. Then make your two supporting cuts. Remove the two pieces of crayfish uh, exoskeleton. That should give you a view like this. This is an actual picture of an actual crayfish. Those are its actual guts. Some of the things have been removed, but you see down here on the sides you've got gills. Make sure to check for their uh, attachment. This was where the head was, and here's a bunch of indiscriminate goo. Them's the organs, children. So here it is with everything labeled. What's interesting about the crayfish is this way here is actually uh, towards the head. So the head is over here. That's the anterior end back towards this way. This is towards the butt. That's the posterior end, post like after. Butt comes after the mouth and the feet, whatever. So up here it's called a cardiac stomach. This is where it looks like its heart would be. That's its stomach. It's up on top of everything. You also have this green gland off to the side called a digestive gland and the heart. This one, the heart, is kind of tricky to find. If you can't find your heart, look back up in your carapace. It's probably in your two pieces of carapace. And then, like I said before, the gills on the side, be sure to check for their attachment. So you'll get in there, you'll remove some stuff, you'll dig around, open up the stomach. It'll be fun. Then you'll move back towards the tail end in the abdominal region. 
on either side are these really strong muscles that help, uh, you know, control the tail, give it swimming and springing power. Crayfish kind of swim backwards, but they use their tail to really lunge out there and like, get your boy on the food. Up in the middle, there'll be a little tiny groove, that's where you'll find your intestine. It'll either be black like this one, or it'll be white. It'll look almost like it's a nerve cord or something, but that's actually the intestine. So when you're looking for the intestine, it's sitting on top of there. Pro tip, if you uh, ever go out and eat crayfish, not these crayfish because they're gross, but if you go out and uh, like catch some crayfish, you can eat them. They're good to eat all this tail muscle. Delicious with butter, just for the love of everything. Peel that intestine out before you eat it, especially if it's full of food. That's, that's nasty, children. There are your dissection slides for Captain Crayfish. Thanks for watching. Do the thing it says to do.